Hey there, here's how to screen record your MacBook with sound and keep watching to the end for the useful shortcut. Right, let's get started. Grab your cursor and head up to the search button. In Spotlight Search, type in Quick for QuickTime Player. Once you see this queue, just select it. Now you may have a window pop up here. If you do, you can just click cancel to close that off. We want to go to the top menu here, QuickTime Player, and click on File. Come down to New Screen Recording. And just at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a rectangular box. We'll ignore the first three because these are relating to screen captures. The one after that is Record Entire Screen. The next option is Record a Selected Portion, where you can choose what size screen you want to record but we'll go entire screen. Further on, we have options and you can choose where you want to save your video. I'm going to choose the desktop for this example. Next up, we can delay the start for any reason, five seconds or 10 seconds. Below this, we have the microphone and I'm using the inbuilt microphone. However, if I have an external microphone connected, I can select it here. And here we just have a couple more options if you want the mouse to click and have a circle around it, you can select this option here. Right, so we are now ready to record. I will click this button here. Look out for the microphone button appearing on the upper right here. And we'll have a round button, which we'll use to stop the recording. So I'll press record. The microphone is active. And this is the button we'll use to stop the video. So you will do whatever it is you need to do. Press stop. We'll give it a moment for the video to finalize. And here we have it in the top right corner. We can double click it and it's ready to play. Now I have my sound muted, but if I didn't, you'd hear some sound back. That's complete. And if I want to rename this video, it currently has screen recording and the date and time. I can right click on this using two buttons on the mouse pad and go to rename. And I will call this one test, just like that. Okay, so that's how you record. And if I want to get rid of it, I can just drag it into the bin and repeat the process. So the quick way, once we've now seen what happens, we can do a command, shift and five on the keyboard. This brings up the recording window, the recording options right here, and we can set off a recording, which will save you time. So I hope you found this useful, and if you have, please give it a quick thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Thanks very much for watching my video, and I wish you a great day ahead.